Okay, so in this next skill, we're going to look at how we take a vector in any direction, any magnitude, and we're going to resolve it into two perpendicular components. So when we resolve a vector, we turn it back into two vectors that we can add together that will add up to the resultant vector. So it's, we start with the resultant vector, and then we work backwards to find the two perpendicular components. So these two components are going to be at right angles. So all we're going to do, it's nice and simple on graph paper, we're looking for a horizontal vector and a vertical vector that when we add them together, they give us this overall resultant vector. So, we'll get our ruler in here. Now, on the graph paper, it's nice and easy to see, but what you might want to do is make this line longer than you need to. And then we can put that arrowhead on to mark the length. So I've drawn my horizontal line in here. And then I'm going to get my detractor. And find this baseline up here. And then I'm going to look at where it's the tip of this resultant vector meets 90 degrees here. Now, obviously, because we're doing it on graph paper, it's a bit easier to see, but you can do this without graph paper. You just need to check the angle. So I need to make sure that this angle here is 90 degrees because my two components need to be perpendicular to each other. So I've lined this line up here. Now I'm getting the 90 degree line to reach the tip there. So I'm happy with that. So this is where I need to draw my vector on. So I can put a point there and a point there. Then I would get my ruler and I can join those points up. Go to the tip there. I'll stop where it reaches there. So I'll put my arrowhead on here and now I'm going to put my arrowhead on here. So I've drawn in my two vectors, my two components, where if I add this component to this component, I will end up with this overall resultant vector that I started with. And this is what we mean by resolving a vector into two perpendicular components. So what I need to do now is measure the magnitude and state the direction of these. So on this one here, we've got our scale. Two centimetres is 10 newtons. So I'll measure with a ruler the length of this. This is 8 centimetres, so I've got 40 newtons. So that is something, this is 8 centimetres, and that equals 40 newtons. I've worked that out using this scale. For each different question, you need to check the scale. So I've got 40 newtons, and I'm just going to say to the right. So I've got magnitude and direction. And now I will measure the magnitude of this vector. It's four centimetres. So that is going to equal 20 newtons. And I'll just put upwards. So here I've got magnitude and direction. So this is turning one vector into two perpendicular components and we've drawn the arrows on again so that they are tip to tail so I can start my finger here and I can go along here and then up here and that's the same I end up in the same place as if I just went along that resultant so make sure you mark the arrowheads in in the right direction